Let me speak a word of hope over someone. Listen, the Bible says, surely there is an end. It doesn't matter what you have gone through. It doesn't matter how long. I can assure you, use the testimonies tonight and prophesy to yourself that the Bible says, surely. The word surely means certainly. Certainly there is an end. If you ever saw the beginning of that challenge, be rest assured you will see the end. And you will see the end sooner than you planned. The end means the end of barrenness. The end means the end of shame. The end means the end of begging and borrowing and reproach of any and all sorts. The Bible leaves us with a scripture of comfort. It says, surely there is an end. Let the mockers mock while you trust. Let the naysayers commend while you trust. Your assignment is to fix your eyes on Jesus. Refuse to look at the winds and the waves. They will laugh while you are walking on water. But when you finally arrive, they will say, Truly, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. When you are making progress with your life, you must know that focus is of essence. Nobody runs to win and is looking left and right. It doesn't matter whether they are cheering you or laughing at you. It is distraction the moment you have a goal before you. Nobody runs your Olympic intending to win and then he turns to see his family members waving and say you are making it. No. He can hear and that's enough to motivate him. Or turning to see other people say don't worry you will lose the race. Uh -uh. Both the people who cheer and the people who mock um, they have they have minimal effect once you are focused. But once you begin to turn to the left or the right, then you are already off course. Naturally, you will fail. Hallelujah. I think I've shared with you here a very interesting story of a gentleman who was climbing a very high altitude. And the ladder, from, if I recall, the ladder he was using was not very strong. And while he was climbing, you know, people were down. Others were, most of them were trying to tell him, get down. That ladder may most likely, uh, you know, break and you will die. You will not finish that race. And when the person saw them, um, he kept smiling at them. He would look down, smile at them and continued going up. The people were angry. They were trying to motion in various ways to say, Mr. Man, we're warning you, the higher you go, the more the assurance of your dying if you fall. And at the end, when he, you know, got to his height, his expected end, um, they got to investigate the man and they found out he was deaf. That was the reason why he got there. So while they were speaking, all that they were saying, everything they were saying was subject to his interpretation. He thought they were motivating him, you can make it. Whereas they were telling him, you are going to die. His deafness was an advantage. Many of you, your own becoming is that your ears are working well and not walking to the Spirit of God, walking because you want to hear everything and you've heard something that has become a virus to your progress. I'm praying tonight, everything you have received that has impeded your progress, deflated your passion, let it jump out as you hear the word tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. One thing I know for sure is that the end of this journey with you and God is glory and grace. The end of this journey with you and God is beauty and color. There's nothing the devil can do about it, provided he cannot distract your faith and focus. It is, it is for sure that you must become everything God preordained for you. You believe that, shout a loud amen. amen. Hallelujah. 